everyone, this is Molly with hands-on real world lessons for a middle school classroom. Uh, we also have a lot of questions and we go in well in depth during our teacher training sessions on how to perform science day one experiments. Um, so we're hoping to create this video to better educate you all and hopefully uh, to combat a lot of the common issues and mistakes that might happen in the classroom. So for your supplies, you'll have an auger plate, uh, you need to slip a pair of film, a Sharpie that you'll probably share with one of your classmates, as well as your different treatments. Um, the cool thing about auger plates is they grow any type of bacteria um, and they help us to investigate all types of vi viruses and bacteria and can even grow ones to be cool colors. So it's important to know that there's two parts to our plate. There is a base, which is, uh, contains a black stamp. It also contains the auger. Um, and this is what we will be writing on. And then you have a lid, which is actually stamped with the company of auger plates that we use, Rimmel. Um, and this needs to always remain down and always remain on the plate. So we're gonna always store it lid side down and base side up. In order to uh, look at your auger plates, know that these are gonna be a yellow beige. And kiddos, if you happen to touch your plate, which you will during the experiment, it's gonna feel like jello. Um, so just think of that and um, think of it as if you're playing with your food at lunch. Um, it's important to also keep in mind that you will be uh, writing on this plate and to always write on the base side. So to write it, you need to divide it into two sides because we have a control and a treatment. So we divide our plate in half and now we have our two sides. So after we've divided our plate in half, remember that we'll have both a control and a treatment side. Our control side is represented by a C on our plate and our treatment side is represented by a T on our plate. So we have a C and a T. Make sure that they're fairly small because we wanna be able to count our bacteria by the end of it. Since I'm gonna be forming treatment three, which is the hand sanitizer, I'm gonna put a little three next to my T. After you have labeled both your treatment and your control side, make sure that you still put your initials in the bottom corner and make sure that they're small so that way you get your plate back and not one of your classmates' plates. After you've labeled your plate, you're now going to shake hands with three to five of your classmates, and then we'll begin the experiment. After you shake your friend's hands, you're going to take your fingers as if you're getting maybe fingerprinted or something fun like that. You're going to touch your hands, your fingerprints, to the C side. Make sure that you're touching them to the control side because these are our dirty hands. So we're going to touch the plate. You can rub it all around. Um, the key though is to make sure that you don't actually puncture the auger. So be very gentle when touching it. Then we're going to put it back down to make sure we don't contaminate our plates. Then we perform our treatment. I'm doing the hand sanitizer. If you perform the hand sanitizer, make sure that you let it good and dry. Otherwise, you might kill the auger and then we can't grow bacteria. So once my hands are good and dry, I'm going to now touch my clean hands to the treatment side where I have my teeth. So I'm using my same technique and rub my fingers all over the tea side. Now that I'm ready, my plate's ready to now be incubated or put in a condition so that we can grow it. I'm going to use pear film to make sure that I can seal both my lid and my base together so we keep the classroom safe from any bacteria. So I'm going to take my pear film and put it in between the seam of the lid and the base, hold it with my non-dominant index finger, and wrap it. Keep in mind that pear film is stretchy and waxy, not sticky, yet it acts like tape. Make sure to wrap it around the seam and go around it at least once like I just did, and maybe you're lucky and you can go around one and a half times, or maybe even more. Now I have a perfectly done plate and it's ready to be incubated and to be looked at later on after we go bacteria. Y'all have a good one. Contact our offices if you have any questions or issues during your science experiment. Thanks, guys.